Hello again, this is Mike Wilson from Rare. We've taken questions from the Xbox Community Network and got answers straight from the Rare team, which includes previously unseen prototype footage. Bring it on. Hi George, if you had 30 seconds to show how good Connect Sports was, what would you show? Which sport and why? So if we had 30 seconds to show the best of what Natal... <sighs> Natal Sports, Connect Sports and change. Okay, so if we only had 30 seconds to show the best of Connect Sports, I would definitely show Party Mode because I think that shows a wide variety of different sports. It shows a lot of kind of in and out gameplay. People can jump in, have a quick go, sit back down again, and it just shows the game off to the best. Um, and there's a lot of humour in Party Mode as well. Do you have any plans for a Connect Sports demo? We would like to do demos and we probably will do some in the future. Um, how we best do that, uh, we need to work out with Microsoft. Um, but at the moment we're concentrating on getting the game finished. Are the testers a lot thinner and fitter than they were at the start? We've done months of testing with hundreds of people and so have Microsoft. I don't know if the testers have got fitter but they've definitely been earning their keep. In fact it's backfired because we can't actually push them around anymore because they're getting too big and strong. <laughs> Hi Nick. So, any particularly amusing or interesting stories from development? No? Okay. Um, what were the best and worst things about developing on Connect? I think the best thing working with Connect is just how new it was. We didn't know really what we were gonna what kind of game we were gonna make with it. You know, it it was literally a brave new world. We'd never seen anything like this before. And so I mean you can almost flip that around and say that was also the worst thing. It was pretty much just the unknown. We got no buttons, we didn't know much about biomechanics. We literally went off and started reading books published by manufacturers of gym equipment to try and look at you know, how the body moves, what's comfortable, what wasn't comfortable. And that was a real challenge early on. Which was the hardest sport to develop for? Um, I would suggest that the hardest sport purely because of the complexity of the real sport is football or soccer as they say in the States. Um, it's a team sport, there's a lot of uh, control issues that you need to, to deal with um, and so it kind of took us the longest to get right um, but the mantra was always soccer for the masses and we managed to make a game that appeals to young and old male and female so we're very very proud of that. What's the delay between action and on-screen reaction in Connect Sports? Was that a difficult hurdle to overcome and is it something you see as a major obstacle for Connect development? Lag's not really a problem at all. With Connect and uh, Connect Sports, lag in that is less than in most of the games we publish with joypads. It's funny how I think people think lag's a problem because they don't realise their own biological lag. Like if you're doing hurdles, then you've got to plan when you're going to jump over the hurdle rather than react to it in games as you used to being reactive. So there's no system lag any more than you would see with any other game. Was there a particular sport that you wanted to have in Connect Sport but couldn't due to technical reasons or time constraints? If so, what was it? Uh, initially we tried all sorts of different sports um, and we tried prototyping um, 20, 30 different things. In the end we had to narrow it down to the ones that were uh, best for the hardware, the most fun and compelling experiences um, and we could have included uh, hundreds but we decided to just focus on the six that we thought were the best uh, for the launch. Imagine that next year Microsoft came to you personally and said You've got an unlimited budget and unlimited time. Make the Kinect game of your dreams. What would you make? What's the wildest, most exciting and out there concept that you thought of for Kinect? One of the craziest prototypes we had, I think, was early on one of our programmers came up with this idea of rock climbing, which was literally simulating the kind of strategic elements of rock climbing, where you're trying to find your hand and your footholds. Um, that just looked crazy when you were there kind of miming climbing a rock face. But then I think he surpassed himself with his what I'll call seagull simulator, where you literally pretended to be a seagull. You know, you flapped your arms to gain height, you could soar around in the air and do stunts. And then you could do what seagulls do as well by crouching down to, you know, we'll call it a natural function of a seagull. And if you dive the seagull into the sea, you could turn into a dolphin and then swim around. I think that was the one I loved the most. We're still quite confused by your recent logo change. What's the story with all the different colors and shapes? Do they all represent something particular? So we see the future of Rare is slightly more than beyond just games. Obviously, uh -huh. our work with the avatars and the platform work we've done recently has been a bug. Back again without being attacked by wasp. <laughs> Rare's recent history has seen us been very varied in our development, and we wanted a new logo that, that reflected that, something that people could experiment with and we could use in different ways and in different mediums. So, obviously, you'll see a different logo on a box, you may see a different logo on, on the splash screen for a game, to a different logo on a t shirt, something that's more up to date and a, and a little bit more funky.
funky. Steve just can't help bringing the funk. That's it for now. We hope this QA has whetted your appetite for Connect Sports in November. Check out rear.co.uk for more sports related shenanigans. Bye for now. <laughs>